Accelerate is a web-based application accessible from any computer with an internet connection. We currently support Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, and Microsoft Edge. Just open your preferred internet browser and enter the URL provided by your project administrator. Your administrator will also provide your username and password. Input them on the login page. Click the Sign In button and you're ready to get started. Upon first login, you are brought to the Matters List page. The Matters List displays all of the projects to which you have access. A green check mark in the Status column indicates that that project is running and available for you to access. Click a matter name to open that project. Once selected, you are brought to the Analysis page for that matter. The next time you log in, the last project you accessed will open automatically to the same location where you ended your prior session. The Analysis page is the main page to browse and analyze documents that have been published to a matter. To switch to a different page, use the Pages menu located in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. The pages to which you have access are dependent on your user role in Accelerate. This lesson focuses on the Analysis page. The Analysis page is comprised of an application header and six multipurpose panels. If you have access to multiple projects, the first thing you should do is check the project name in the application header to verify you're working in the correct projects. If you need to switch projects, simply make the selection from the project dropdown where your last five access projects display or click on All Matters to go back to the Matters list and locate and select another active project. Now let's take a closer look at the six panels on the Analysis page. The center pane contains the results list. Each row of the results list represents an individual document and contains information about each record. The information displayed in the results list is customizable. Use your mouse to navigate between documents. Note the document count at the bottom of the results list. When you first log in, this count always displays the full document count for the project. By default, 30 documents display per page on the results list. This number can be increased by switching your user preferences. Use the arrows surrounding the page number at the bottom of the results list to navigate page by page through the list. The page number text box can also be used to navigate to a specific page by typing in the page number and hitting Enter on your keyboard. The Results List toolbar contains additional options for customization. Group Sort allows you to set a custom sort order for up to three levels of information. You can choose to sort each level, ascending or descending. For example, you can sort your results list by custodian and then document date. Group by family is turned on by default. This option automatically sorts your results list so that parent documents are followed by their attachment documents in the results list. The column menu allows you to modify which fields you display as columns in the results list. Please note that any changes that are made are persistent and will remain the next time you log in. These columns can be customized for each case independently. Simply select or deselect the fields that you wish to display or not display in your results list and then reposition the columns by clicking and dragging the column names. When selecting columns, choose ones that will be most beneficial for your review. You may also choose to display coding field information like the issue or responsive field info. This can help you quickly identify documents that have previously been coded. Once you've selected the fields that you'd like to display in your results list and ordered them appropriately, click Apply. Associations icons are viewable in the results list. They show us valuable information about document relationships. Associated documents are documents related by content or documents that are part of the same communication, 
such as families, threads, duplicates, and near duplicates. Associations are detected and populated at the time documents are published into the Accelerate Review and Analysis application. Each associated document type is represented by an icon in the results list. The paperclip icon indicates a document is part of a family. In other words, is a parent, an attachment, or an embedding. If a document is part of a family, it is indicated by the dark gray icons in this column. Hovering over the icons will indicate the position of the document within the family. The small arrow pointing down to the right of the paperclip indicates that this is a parent document. The small arrow pointing up to the left of the paperclip icon indicates that this is an attachment. The second column of the associations indicates whether a document is part of an email chat or a thread. The next column indicates if a document has duplicates, identified using MD5 hash analysis. And the last column of the associations indicates whether a document has near duplicates, which are documents identified by algorithm as differing slightly in content, such as different formatting, numbers, typos, or small variances in text. Click on any custom association, and you are brought into card view. This view shows you the entire relationship of associated documents that you have requested, as well as some limited metadata about those documents. To close out of card view and return to the main result list, click the X icon in the upper right-hand corner. The enrichment column indicates whether manual enrichment has been run on a document. If you see a dark gray dot in the column, hover over it to see a pie chart indicating the sentiment tonality of the document. An enrichment view will also be available in the viewer for a document containing this indicator. There are three additional icons in the results list that can provide you with useful information. To view a document's metadata, click the gray dot in the I column of the results list. The document opens in the document viewer and the metadata fly-in window appears. Alternatively, you could open the metadata fly-in window using the small eye icon in the viewer toolbar header. The is tagged icon is a visual indicator that shows whether documents have been tagged. It is seen as either a green or gray dot. A green dot indicates that the document was tagged by the current user in the current session. A dark gray dot indicates that the document was tagged by another user and a light gray dot indicates that the document is not tagged. Please note the tag icon is instantly refreshed when tagging is saved by you or another user. To view a document's history, click the dark gray dot in the History column of the results list. Document history distinguishes between tagging events and non-tagging events. Tagging events are changes affecting fields used in a tagging arrangement, and non-tagging events include jobs such as conversion, printing, adding documents to a workspace, adding documents to a review or production workflow, manual enrichment, and system events. The panel directly below the results list is a multi-purpose panel. It acts as the visualization panel, which we saw when we first logged into the database, as well as the document viewer. And as we just saw, document history can also be retrieved via this panel. Let's take a look at the document viewer. The document viewer panel is used to view individual documents. When the viewer is open, the document highlighted in the results list is shown. If the viewer is not open, click on a document's title in the results list to open it. Alternatively, you can click on a document's metadata icon or manually switch the visualization panel to the viewer panel. Multiple views may be available for a document depending on how the document was processed and whether it was produced from Accelerate. The left-hand panel contains search and smart filters, which you will use to explore your project data. To run a simple search, type a word or words into the keyword search box and hit enter on your keyboard or click the search icon. Below the search and filter panel is the current criteria panel. As you run searches or apply filters, this panel lists the applied criteria. Our search for the word money is shown here. Below the keyword search box are the Accelerate Smart Filters. Smart filters store a variety of information about your documents, and they allow you to explore your data and filter to specific data sets using the captured values. The types of information stored in Smart Filters includes 
metadata extracted during ingestion, such as dates, titles, authors, and file types, analytics generated during publishing to the review and analysis application, such as phrases and concept groups, tagged field values and document counts as tags are applied by users during review, such as responsiveness issues and privilege tags, and information captured by the system for tracking or monitoring purposes, such as the names of the users who reviewed each document, the names of review batches and folders in which documents reside, whether documents contain redactions, and whether documents have been produced. To filter a document set using Smart Filters, simply click on the Smart Filter header, select the Smart Filter on which you would like to filter your data set, select the filter or filters and click the Apply button. Keyword searches in Smart Filters can be combined indefinitely. The right side pane contains the tagging panel used to apply coding to a document. You can activate the panel in one of two ways. If you have a document highlighted in the results list but not selected, click the Select button in the tagging panel to activate it. Alternatively, you could select a document in the results list which also activates the tagging panel. If the field you want to code is not displayed, Near the top of the tagging panel is a drop-down that allows you to select another tagging panel, also known as a field arrangement. Make your coding selections and click the Save button to save the coding and remain on the current document, or click Save and Next to save the coding and move to the next document in the results list, which is then selected automatically.